Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to finish working on a little CSS3 transition effects for this uh, photo display, gallery display, mini navigation menu, whatever you'd like to kind of think of it as. Um, in the previous video, just did the slide down or the drop down effect here for the first part, the, this first set of images. So, first image, second, and there's the third up there. There we go. Kind of get a better slide effect. All right, so we took care of that one, but I also want to do one that's kind of uh, positioned vertically, and then it'll slide out to the right. So that'll be the next one that we take care of. So a couple, it's very, very similar, so we're just really going to be doing a little bit of copying and tweaking of the markup. So this is my internal CSS, and don't really have to make any changes to the markup, but I do want to draw your attention. The slide right is almost identical to the slide down. I did make a subtle little difference here and I put emphasis tags around the text and I'm doing this because I want the text to appear only on the hover effect and I'll explain this as I get to it. So that's the only change to the HTML of the slide right menu versus the slide down menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at my stuff up here and you know what I've got this slide down list item and pretty much it's going to be the same thing for my slide right list items so a couple ways I could do this I could delete this reference to the ID slide down and then basically all list items since I've only got these two list items otherwise I'll just do a group selector slide right list items so now my slide down and my slide right list items neither are going to have bullets and they're both going to have basically four pixels of margin to get some spacing around them so now I've already taken care of the background images for these so you notice that I've already got I did this in the previous video uh, my photos five six and seven these are in my slide right menu they've all got the background images set so that part is taken care of now there's going to be a lot of similarities with this big rule here. So you notice I've got this slide down list item anchor. I'm just going to go ahead and copy all of this. There's a lot of duplication. But let me copy that and paste. Uh, and I'm going to change this to slide right list item anchor. And I'm going to make a couple changes here. Since this is these images or anchors are going to be oriented a little bit differently, instead of the width being 500, I'm going to change the width to 50. And instead of the height being 50, I'm going to change it to 336, which is the height of the photographs that I'm working with. I'm going to keep the same border. I'm going to keep the same border radius and the same padding. Let's see, I'm going to do a background repeat. No repeat is fine. Box sizing border box, I'm good with that one. Text decoration, none. I'll go ahead and leave that on there for now and um, color is good, text shadow is good. Now WebKit transition, this is going to change a little bit. Instead of changing the height, I'm going to be changing the width. Okay, So changing the width out a little bit. Oh, One more thing we've got to add too. Uh, let's, let's save this and we'll just see how it's looking. Then you can kind of decide what needs to happen next. So here we go. So here's our list items down here. And I want to get these side by side, so I'm going to ultimately float these to the left. So let me just scroll up here. I'm going to make a little rule right above this one. Slide right list items. Float left. I'm going to get my list items side by side, and that's really what I want to have there. So that part wasn't so bad. Let's go, go ahead and do some other stuff on here. So let's jump back over. And got that part taken care of. Now I just need that hover effect. Okay, so I'm going to have anchor photo 5 hover. And that's not written properly. Anchor pound sign photo 5 hover. And just so we can see how it works, got my opening curly braces. And I'll set the width. 500 pixels and um, yeah that's pretty good oh let's change that border too. border two pixels solid yellow okay so that's saved head back over to the browser refresh there we go and we'll notice it right away on photo one so yeah that was pretty easy photograph one is doing its job now why is it already doing that? Remember, because we already did a lot of the work. 
um, and setting up the vertically oriented menu. And there it is. I've already got that WebKit transition to adjust the width, 0.8 seconds, easing out. And since I've got that image working, just do comma paste, comma paste. And this is photos five, six, and seven. Okay, go ahead and save that. Back to the Chrome browser, refresh. There we go, and there's photo two and photograph three. All right, uh, one more thing I want to change. Obviously, my text is causing, I don't really like how the text is displaying like that. I like the finished view of the text. That, that's I think that's cool. But um, obviously, when the images are collapsed, or the anchors are collapsed, I don't like the way the text is just spread out there. And there's a few different ways you could play around with it. Let me just show you one. I'm just going to change kind of the Z index of things. So I'm going to head back over here. And this is, of course, my big anchor. This is my big rule controlling the anchor tags. And I'm going to do position relative on these anchor tags. Okay. Now check this out. I'm doing position relative on the anchors because slide right anchor emphasis is going to be position absolute. Now I'm not doing anything exciting with the position. Top is, I'll just go ahead and put in four pixels, left four pixels, but I want to do Z index of negative one. And if you're using Z index, then it's you're doing it on positioned items. So. So basically, Z index of ne negative one is going to take the emphasized text. And don't forget, in my list items for my second menu, the text is encased or enclosed within emphasis tags. Okay, So I'm going to take the emphasis text, which is in my anchor tags in my slide right, and I'm going to Z index them negative one, which means I'm going to put them behind uh, the, the next element. So but just by putting a negative one, I can make uh, put him behind there. So if I go ahead and save that, Chrome refresh, look, my text is gone. Okay, so there's no more text. Uh, it's simply behind the images. It's kind of weird. The text is still there. It's just some, you know, you just can't see it. So I do want to change that though, because whenever I hover over, I want that text to appear. So I'll put this down here. slide right anchor colon hover space emphasis so this is emphasis within my hover state I'm going to change the Z index to positive one okay this will bring it back on top so when I save this Chrome refresh notice when I hover over that text describing the photograph pops up so there we go, photograph one, two, and three. However, you know, it's still a little bit of an anomaly that you might not like. So we got that. So let's go ahead and fix this up. And I'm going to use another CSS transition. So I'm going to do WebKit because I'm using a Chrome. Uh, Safari also uses the WebKit prefix. Transition. I'm going to change the Z index. 800 milliseconds. Basically, this is the same as 0.8 seconds. I just want to show you that you can write it in two ways. Okay, 800 milliseconds. I'm going to ease in, and then I'm going to put another unit here, 0.4 seconds. Basically, this first time, this first unit of time is the speed of the effect. The second unit of time is the delay. Okay, so I want to delay when this text pops up. And if I made it one second, which is much more noticeable, you'll see it. So let me save that. Chrome refresh. Now watch when I hover over my image. There you go. Then finally the text pops up. It's waiting a second and the text is popping up. So I'm going to shorten that delay a bit. Back on here, I'll change this down to 0.4 seconds, which I thought looked pretty good. Save this. Chrome refresh. Okay, there's photograph three. Notice there's a little delay. Photograph two and photograph one. Photograph two, photograph three. Okay, so there's a little bit of uh, work using CSS transitions and a couple other things that maybe you hadn't tried before. You know, you have some text shadow on there. You've got the um, certainly border radius, play around with Z index. 
uh, floating menus, you know, to make horizontal navigation menus. But yeah, I think they're pretty neat. Uh, have fun with those.